Tonight, Local 2 investigates a mysterious illness that has stalled work on a multi-million dollar government project that started in November on the Houston Ship Channel. Some workers say they were poisoned on the job, and they're now blaming two government agencies for keeping them on the job despite these dangers. KPRC Local 2 investigative reporter Stephen Dean has this story, but we warn you, some of these images of the illness are very uncomfortable to see. Workers thought this was a typical job site, just another day at work. They were shuttled in by ferry every day to this mass of land called Alexander Island in the middle of the Houston Ship Channel, just west of the 146 bridge. Dump truck driver Terry Cavanaugh says he and a dozen other workers were told the whole island was tested for dangers before they started. As far as we knew, it was a clean site. But the 48-year-old doesn't believe that anymore as a severe rash spreads all over his body. This has been going on for, right now it's right at five, five and a half months that I've had this rash on me. And it's getting worse, not getting, better. Getting worse, absolutely. And other problems, the hair falling out? Yeah, I've had the hair, hair falling out. I don't know if you can see that or not. Other workers started reporting the same sort of itchy, painful rashes. One worker tells us his wasn't as bad as Kavanaugh's, and documents show others complain to their supervisors about rashes as well. Kavanaugh says it's driving him crazy. It's an itch fest every day. I mean, I mean, you just want to go out to the garage and get a wire brush and get after it. You know, that's how bad it is. I was telling my sister the other day, uh, I'm bleeding to death one scab at a time, you know. He says seven doctors have given him different ideas, but no real answers. The illnesses caused the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to stop work on Alexander Island. It's a $3.3 million part of the ship channel dredging project, clearing this island to make room for dirt dredged up from the bottom of the bayou. But Kavanaugh says grass won't grow in spots. There are dead fish around the island and an awful chemical smell all around. He's hired a lawyer because now, he says those signs should have led to more testing before and after work was started. In my opinion, if they were, if there was any concerns at all out there about chemicals, they should have tested on at least a weekly basis, if not a daily basis. I've been on other sites, hazmat sites, they check every hour. Why would anyone dump some workers on an island uh, that's a toxic soup? without warning, without adequate protect, uh, protective equipment. Uh, we want answers to those questions. In documents and interviews with Local 2 Investigates, the Corps of Engineers and the owner of Alexander Island, the Port of Houston, say they're now testing because of the illnesses, and so far they have found no contaminated soil or water. As far as testing before the work started, both agencies say all the dredged up new soil is checked before it's brought here, but no other tests were done. Kavanaugh's attorney, Jason Gibson, says there's another problem. Why were workers left on the island for a month after the first illness was reported? You can't put workers on an island, have them start complaining about uh, symptoms that are associated with chemical exposure, and then just keep them on the island. I mean, you, you just can't do that. The Corps of Engineers emailed us that one worker reported the illness on April 3rd, but that was diagnosed as dermatitis. Then on May 14th, the Corps was told several workers were sick, so work was stopped the very next day. The Corps says it would never knowingly expose any of our people to a hazardous or unsafe work environment. We have acted quickly and appropriately to ensure the safety of these workers. Some workers have returned to the island, but they're all wearing protective hazmat gear until all of the tests are in. In a letter to the Corps of Engineers, the Port of Houston says air monitoring and soil testing are both underway to ensure all the workers are safe. Stephen Dean, KPRC Local 2. Now the contractor on the job, WRS Compass, issued a statement saying worker safety is its top priority and it took immediate action when the company learned this illness may be job related. Now we have posted the entire statement from the contractor and the Army Corps of Engineers on our website. If you like, you can read it at click2houston.com. 